Makeup that will make you shine brighter starts now. Hi everyone, it's Casper. 2020 is almost over and it's impossible to have a year-end party these days, so we're gonna have one right here by doing a year-end party makeup. In today's Beauty Hackers, we prepared a makeup look for the year-end festive vibe, and we often see Korean idol stars wearing glittery and shiny makeup on stage. Today, I will show you a holiday makeup look inspired by glittery and shimmery K-pop idols. Holiday makeup starting from the most important, long-lasting tips to the sparkly and glittery. Let's begin. You can't concentrate on the points you wanted to highlight if there are too many dewy elements all over the face. So the base makeup should be matte or semi-matte on top of a well-built skincare. I will be choosing a semi-matte type of base because my skin is dry, but if you have oily skin, then you can start off with a matte foundation. First, I'm going to wipe my skin using toner and toner pad. I'm going to soak the toner pad sufficiently so that my skin doesn't feel any abrasiveness. You guys know how much of a toner fanatic I am, right? Especially during the winter time around the mouth so that you get all those dry patches. And then using the toner that I just used, I'm gonna get some on my hands, dab it into the skin. Now we will use a sheet mask that we kept in a fridge to cool the skin down. Once the temperature on your face drops, your makeup adheres to your face better and also it makes your skin reduce puffiness. So this is also great before a party, except we're not going to a party. I really like to kind of drag it upwards to give that lifting feeling. I've left the mask sheet on for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna wipe off the remainder gently with a cotton pad and then dab the rest of it in. So since the sheet mask has hydrated my skin fully, I'm going to use a cream to help the moisture stick in and stop it from evaporating. Instead of using a cream that's oily, I'm gonna use something that's hydrating. So, voila, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna be a real YouTuber today. Do you guys see that texture? It's super lightweight, but hydrating. Another tip in building up a sturdy base layer is for you to absorb each step completely before adding on another layer. Before using foundation, we're gonna use a primer. The key here, guys, is to make your skin moist and smooth. It doesn't have any pigments, and it's just milky and creamy, and when you blend it out, it just adheres to your skin. Your foundation only adheres to your skin well when your skin's moisturized. I just like to add two pumps on my cheeks and then work it in and then with whatever is remaining I just go on my nose and my forehead. So today I'll be using concealer and foundation for my base makeup. The foundation should match the skin tone of your face because I'm going to use concealer later on to highlight the contours. So let's begin. Using fingers to apply foundation can make your makeup look cakey because of the heat of your fingers, so I'm going to use the brush. Get a pump on the back of my hand, and get the brush. I'll go from the inner parts of my face and then outwards. Blend it out. Do you see how perfectly it matches my skin? Just gently. I try to avoid going too much around the eyes because of the creasing, so I just Avoid it and then later on, maybe I'll use like a sponge to blend it in. And then on areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I'm just gonna go in with a light second layer. I have a breakout on my chin and it's been bothering me. I'm gonna name my pimple Alexander and I'm just gonna wait for Alexander to go away. Okay, I'm done with foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with the concealer highlighting that I just mentioned and it's this. You guys will see instantaneously this concealer is brighter than my skin tone, so it'll light up the areas that I want. The under eye areas, like here, and maybe the tip of the nose. Put a little bit on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and a little bit on the center of my forehead, maybe, maybe a little bit on my brow bone. Then I'm gonna blend it out using a clean part of the sponge. I don't know why, but in Korean, like the stabbing noise, people say chop 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 chop. The better thing about dabbing it in more is it gives you more of a natural and seamless finish, but the more you dab it in, it gets drier. 
To make it last longer, I'm gonna use a setting powder and gently roll it on parts of the face where I want my makeup to stay put. The key to the holiday makeup is the glitter. We will use eyeshadows with gold glitters and a red lip as a statement to this makeup. So I put my hair up like this so you guys can see my eyes better. Um, I'm gonna start with curling my lashes. It's really important to do this before you apply a lot of glitter or eyeshadow so that it doesn't get all clunked up inside your lashes, so yes. I have really long lashes, but I only have like five on each eye, so it's really important to curl it. Oh. Do you guys see? Eyelashes are all curled. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow. So, I'm gonna use this palette, and since it's a holiday look, I'm gonna use really, really nice flamingo looking colors. Um, these two are gonna be my base colors. I'm gonna use this as my goldish kind of point color, and then this is gonna be my outermost gradient. And it's gonna be super easy to understand once I put it on my eyes, so let's begin. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I've applied base eyeshadow. Do you guys see the difference? Usually I don't go all the way here, but I'm gonna go all the way here because it's festive. Done. Now to the point color. I'm gonna use a different brush for this. Actually, you know what? For this one, I'm gonna use my finger. So just apply some of it on my uh, ring finger and then apply it on the center parts of my eye. So just the center and the bottom center as well After you've applied it I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used in the beginning to slightly blend out the outer corners Now using a pointer brush like this I'm gonna go in with the darkest color and go out on the outer thirds and a little bit on the inner corners You guys see, adding it a little bit on the inner corners really just gives that extra kind of glam. Remember, blending is key. Take your time to blend. So I finished with the basic eyeshadow gradient and I'm gonna go in with the glitter. I'm gonna use a glitter like this a little bit on the inner corners and also a little bit on the back of my hand and dab it on the top of my eyelids. I'm using a gel type formula because it doesn't have any like flaking or like flyaways, so it's really easy to use. Done! Next, I'm going to go in with eyeliner. I'm just gonna use a pencil eyeliner like this to fit my natural eye shape and gently flick out a wing at the end. And then clean off whatever you have using a Q-tip like this. And then go in with a makeup sponge that you use with foundation to blend in whatever you have. I finished up with eyeliner and now I'm gonna move on to mascara. But before I do, I'm just gonna quickly, uh, gently curl my eyelashes again. A tip for using mascara is to really try to get off too much at the tip, just, yeah. And then go in at the tip and then to the middle and then to the roots. I do guys I got it all over my hair oh no okay so I've applied mascara and I'm done with my eye makeup now I'm gonna go in with the highlighting and contouring I'm gonna first go in with the highlighter in this palette just a little bit I don't want to look like a disco ball you know on my cheekbones I mean, we take a lot of pictures during holiday season and we don't want to look flat in the photo. So we're going to do some extra contouring than we usually do on Beauty Hackers. So I'm going to go in with the contour color and strengthen out the outer parts of my face and my jawbone. But using a big fluffy brush like this really helps it make it still look natural. Shrink down that forehead. Chudo, chudo. And then I'm going to kind of do a like nice like 
thir three here so that it gives that really, I don't know, like, elegant look. <laughs> okay. And then using a smaller brush like this, go in with the same color, but make sure to tap it off. You don't want too much on your face. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my nose. So try to really deepen the eye hole and the nose contour. I'm gonna go in with the tip first, like this. You see it automatically shrink to my nose, right? And then down the nose bridge. Don't go like on a straight line. It'll make it look very unnatural. Just here on the eye hole and then at the tip of the nose. That's all you need. I'm gonna be using this color and palette as my blush today. You guys might be thinking, what, that's crazy, but it's actually really smart to use eyeshadow colors in blush palettes to match the eye look and just be really gentle with it so that you don't mix up the eyeshadow colors. Just pat it on. See, it's really pigmented, right? So tap off the excess again. And I'm gonna be applying blush diagonally today. Uh, depending on how you apply blush, you could really change up the look of your face. In the center of the cheeks, apple of your cheeks can make you look really cute and young and fresh. And then diagonally give you more of the luxurious look. And with all this glam, I'm gonna go for the luxurious look today. I'm done with blush as well. Okay, I'm gonna go in with lip makeup, but before I begin, I'm gonna kind of kill the color of my lips using concealer. And then I'm gonna go in with a glossy textured lip stain that has a nice festive reddish look to it. The subtle pigmentation gives my lips the natural look, but also the pigmentation gives that luxurious feel. Finally guys, the whole point of this makeup was the glitter. So I'm gonna be applying a little bit of glitter on the lips as well. Instead of applying it to all of my lips, I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the center parts to give it a little plump. That's it for my makeup. I'm gonna do final touches and I'll be back. Today I did glittery makeup that fits the holiday season with this bling bling vibe. Though it may be impossible to have a party this season, let's at least get into the mood by doing this makeup at home. If you guys have any makeup looks or ideas you want us to do at Beauty Hackers, then please leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys! <laughs>